<laughs> Welcome in. Welcome, everybody, to another edition of Golf Talk Radio. Uh, Mike and Billy, we are coming to you live from the 16th hole in what, what, what island are we on? Maui. In Maui, yes, we are. Yeah. That is not true. We are actually in studio in San Luis Obispo. Aww. We wish we were um, in Maui. <laughs> That would have been cool. We have a good show today. We have Hop in Bakersfield. Hi, Hop. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Good to hear your voice. Hey, uh, hey, hey. You're hot. You're very hot. He is um, hot. Am I? Hot, hot. He, was, he was hitting on Nikki earlier before we came on the air. So, uh, <laughs> Nikki, you're hot as well. Thank you, Billy. And yes, we, I agree. I, I concur with him. <laughs> I do concur. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm Billy Gibbs. That guy's Mike Brabinick. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Billy. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Hop. Hello, Mike. So hi, I, hi, hi. I was out of town yesterday, but I got a few messages from my cohort over there. And I guess today is all about balls. We're going balls out. We're talking about Ball facts. How do you wash your balls? What's the best balls? How do you play with your balls? The seven bay ways, you know, are the are new balls better than old balls? Um, little known facts about balls. Um, All spurred because how? of a tour pro that actually lost too many balls and was DQ'd right. from a tournament. Oh my gosh, I read that. Sorry. That was a great intro, Bill. Sorry. Reset. <laughs> I was, yeah, let's reset. Try this sorry. Nikki. Uh, I blew that. I'm so sorry. <sighs> You'd think right. after all these years I'd know not to do that. <laughs> so, anyways, we're going to be doing a lot of ball talking today. And so get prepared for that. We're going to talk, of course, the US Open was last week, and we'll discuss uh, um, how a cough can affect your golf game. So. Okay, that it's, is not me. It's not the cough that carries you off. It's the coffin they carry you off in. Ooh. So Ooh. Um, somebody's coughing, so I hope you're okay. Catch your breath. Who was that? Nikki? I don't know who it that was, was not me. <laughs> 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 but we were talking about, so I figured if you were checking for a hernia. Oh, or, that uh, was your cough. That oh. was really good, and huh? over and cough. Nice. A little sound effect. Kind of a kind of a kind of a long pull, but I'm we sure. kinda got worried over there, man. So, um, <laughs> bend over, Mike. Do I have to? <laughs> that's a, that's a, that sounds like a, that sounds like a guy's talk. No, that's cough. the thing. It sounds that's like a, a girl's cough. cough. Yeah. So I almost think it sounds like a child's cough. I was going to say that's that. a little disturbing. That is a little sad. Come on, let's, yeah. let's moving on. We got the U.S. Open. Uh, you know, to talk about what we thought about the final results, and uh, and I was up there on a Friday. I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, and then we got uh, other things, loose impediments to the topics that these uh, professionals that I so fondly work with brought in. And Hop, haven't talked to you in a while, so glad you're part of the show again. Are you well? Everything good? How's your cough? <laughs> My cough is great. All and, right, uh, man. And, and uh, everything's great, man. It's, cool. uh, it's summertime in Bakersfield. What are you going to do? <laughs> have you guys hit your... <laughs> go have you hit go your, west, young your, man. Yes. Go west. <laughs> have you hit your 90s and 100s? Oh yeah, we've already had a few streaks. We're, uh, we had a we had a break yesterday. It only got up to like ninety three, hmm. and then it uh, it backed off into the sixties last night. Oh sweat! But now it's uh, it, we're going to be back at it like a few days of one hundred and four, one hundred and three in a row. Yeah, it's going to be good. Wow. How's it up up above the tundra? How's your mountain view up there? How are you up there, Mike? Uh, we fun PG and E, baby. <laughs> How about you, Mike? You're up above we've the been, mountains. Actually, we've been great. It's been good. Been really got really really windy in the afternoon the last four nights. We had PGA Junior League, and the it's, kids it's are out there. Windy. That's, that's common, huh? This the was afternoon thirty-five there? miles oh, an that's hour gusting. sustained. Because I've been up. It seems yeah. common in the afternoon there, right? Yeah. Is that normal? It's because we're right in the, te the we're 30. in the Templeton Gap. I learned. Okay, you're in a gap. We're in the Templeton Gap. So you're hanging so out. So the fog windy. gets sucked in. So you hang in the gap. Yeah. And when the pressures change, things start whipping up, I love and it. flying down the gap. It was I love, windy. I love it, except for my allergies. I'm, I've got the allergy. Yeah, but just think, if you stand sideways, they should blow right by your nose. You would think. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't go into. You can't be standing in face. First. And you always got to walk. <laughs> yeah, you got to walk. Yeah, you got to really so plan your your, your how am your I gonna? Route. Yeah, I got to figure out how am I gonna get back yeah. into the building. You got to plan your route. <laughs> That's a lot of bunch work. bunch of left turns. I think. Well, you know, you got to do quick U turns. <laughs> Whoop! All right, really fast. <laughs> well. It's uh, cool, man. So let's have a fun show. Nikki yeah, brought you all your information on balls that you have. Are you an expert on balls? Uh, no, I don't you're think very, I am. You're very particular I'm about it. I'm very particular balls. about it, though. So, so you uh, think you're an expert. Or no, I mean, no, that's, no. That's, that's the wrong word. You are particular for because you must have a reason. So yeah. that's what I mean. So the you're feel. Just, so you like to feel the balls. Yes. Okay. So um, so we'll talk about that. Is it in people's imaginations? Is there really a difference between a lot of golf balls? Hmm. There, yeah. There's a lot of topics on this. And uh, can, to how ponder. old is a golf ball? Is it still it's not playable anymore? I mean, you can you play the ones you find? And is, are golf balls harming our environment? That's... Mm. What's may, may I'll I ask do a, a little question? Debbie Downer on that part. I know. Wah, wah. It's really... I read it's a sad, sad Yeah, sure. Go ahead, Hop. Uh, I just want to know. It's like... Uh, 
baseball or football, uh, uh, and I know that's not a, it's kind of an apples to oranges sort of thing, but there's a standard for a ball. You can't vary it, and then one company makes them. Why doesn't golf do that? Isn't there a standard for how a golf ball has to be made so it's an even playing field? And instead of players like, I'm going to use a Titleist as opposed to a, a Wilson because it flies better, doesn't that seem like an unfair advantage? Why isn't there a standard golf ball for, for PGA mm-hmm. play? There is. There's a standard on the diameter diameter or the size of it and, right. and the weight. Um, those two are standards. They have to be a certain round or certain, was that? A cer- circumference. Circumference. Yeah. yeah. There's circumference and a certain weight. I think it's 1.62 and 1.8 something. Uh, in fact, I had thought I had it here somewhere, but I got so many do papers. They still, do they still but, do that where the European ball is smaller? Way, than, oh, that's long. That's, that's gone, gone. Long, yeah, long, the long, European long, gone. ball hop used to be smaller than the... Uh, than the rest of the world's golf Here, ball. I got it right. All the rest is marketing, hey, look at that. Huh? I was right. Here's the size of the United States Golf Association requires a golf ball should not weigh more than 1.26 ounces. Um, the heavier the ball, that means the less resistance to the wind and may fly further. Golf balls are, are at least 1.68 inches in diameter. Uh, the smaller ball may also fly further than larger because of the less resistance through the air. So they do have those are, you know, those are standards. Then I submit to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury that the only difference in golf balls is the stamp that's on the outside. There shouldn't be any difference as to flight or distance or anything Ah. else. You may may think that, counselor. Listen, as we run through the show, you will become enlightened. You may... <laughs> you may you may think that counselor and is a good point, but so wrong, counselor. We're going to bring you in on that one. So. I'm so sorry, Hob. Why would you? Oh, it's okay. I, I I I wish to be educated. <laughs> yeah. And you will, my son. You will. Because <laughs> if you think about it, golf ball comes full circle. It did. <laughs> it is. It is. That's right. Circle. It really does. So we're going to really enlighten you on your balls today. Mike's even got seven what best ways to wash your balls. Actually, I have them over here, right? Yes. Yeah, the, best, we the could, seven best ways to clean your balls. We could do dueling. <laughs> dueling balls. Dueling ball we washing. Bounce, we can bounce the balls back and forth. Yes. I even found an article on um, seven best ways to find your lost golf balls. Which, is, oh. which, which by the way, pe- more people need to do that. And I'm going to be the Debbie Downer later in the environment. Oh, my gosh. I, <laughs> oh, dude, it's awful. Oceans and wood. Did three, you read the 300 story? 300 million balls a year lost. Did you read the there. story about the father and daughter at Pebble Beach? I did. Oh, yeah. Amazing. That was on TV. Yeah, through the through the uh, Mount Array and all the areas through the, the scuba yeah. diving and finding up all those balls. Yeah. Very oh, cool. That's incredible. That should happen everywhere. Yeah. I think they're I starting they, to. They started it. Yeah, 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 they started it. But it's just a small, tiny, tiny little piece. You know, they found yeah. hundreds of thousands of balls in the lock or the Loch Ness. Oh, I have an article hundreds on that, Hundreds of too. thousands. There's not even a <laughs> golf course there. I oh, know. I was going. I, I hit the mother load last night. You must have went and bought new ink. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you did hit the. It mother. was actually really fun last night when I was pulling this stuff <laughs> so together. Is it fair to say that you just went balls out? Up I there went last balls out. I went for it. You went for it. Nice. I told but Amy. I said, how, Amy, in the, in the lock. Don't, don't. I'm. I'm. I'm focused right now. I'm in the zone. <laughs> don't bother me. The printer was like, there's a smoky smell coming from the room, and she's like, "What is that?" I said, "Don't worry." About you it. said that's your balls. I said that's the balls. So the lock guys, does that make you sad? Yeah, <laughs> there's nothing there. To they go look for Loch Ness monster Carl, and they find Carl, people are dumping them out there. They found thirty five thousand, hundreds of thousands. Now they're assuming. They're Was it hundreds there. of thousands? Yeah, that's what I just read. Crazy. Wow. And it took you know, it took the little the 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 little robot things, the unarmed. What do they call them? Things those unmanned submersibles, sunman, you know, submarine things. Yeah. Yeah. Submersibles down to the bottom, and like, what do they find? Golf balls. Titleist threes. Maybe that's what's happening if they get currents through there and the Maybe. golf balls float up and they make the arch that looks like the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> it could be balls. I bet it's all about the balls. It's all the balls, yeah, I of bet course. It is. That's Loch- why it varies. Yeah, a lot. They get sucked up. They're- Loch Ness Molitors. <laughs> Remember the Molitor? <laughs> could you imagine? You're a scientist and you finally get a submersible that you can go down and see the the bottom of the lock. You're so happy. You're looking for everything. Oh, this is going to be great. Wait, this wait, is so wait, wait, awesome. Wow, what is that? Oh, my God. Oh, God. It's is a, that a new microorganism? Oh, Callaway 6. Oh. What? <laughs> so, uh... And the guy was looking for his top flight, which makes it really sad. <laughs> um, there was this river back east that it, river flowed through it, the golf yeah. course, and it had pretty good rapids at certain times of year. But there was this one D 
deep hole at the end, you know, just yeah. off the golf course, where all the balls would get washed to. So if you ever needed a supply for your driving range or resell balls, we'd go down to that hole, climb under the fence, go walk about 100 yards to this hole, that's and go down funny. there. There was hundreds of golf balls down there, and you'd fill up the bags and walk back, and that's where they all ended up. Yeah. yeah. So there was always, that's I'm sure awesome. every little river's got that. But it was cool then. Now it's pretty sad what it's because they're toxic. They're just, it's not good. You know, balls are contagious, though. Like, I think about it when I was a kid. Ballitis. I've, I've t- yeah, I've talked about this before. We would, we would jump the fence at Deep Cliff Golf Course to get golf balls. We would, when I was at Pasa Tampa, we'd go into the canyons and get golf balls. And it was like, you just get, I don't know, you get hooked on it. Like once you start collecting them, and you, it's like East, it's like, it's Easter eggs every yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. And especially when you can sell them. Yeah, when you're a kid, it was fun. Oh, you, my gosh. You're pushing through the bushes, and you see one. Yes, that's 25 cents right there. Is that a title list? That's t- 50 cents. Oh my a new God, one. It's a, a new one. It's a, per- it's a pearl. 50 cents. I know. It was like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could come back. It's eight bucks for that. And you, There's put, something and you really sit on cool here, about that. Please, sir, would you like to ball, buy a ball from a person <laughs> like me? Yes. Is that the way you would talk when you would sell I did a little British, little kid British thing, yeah. Did that help sales? No, it never worked. Oh, <laughs> Probably come take the balls from me. <laughs> They're not yours. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, we got shot so I, did, I did the puppy with, with eyes. salt guns. <laughs> That's bad. You're Scary. Crazy. Who's yeah. shooting at you? Uh, the superintendent <laughs> at Deep Cliff. You're kidding. No. That's awful. He had every right to do it, too. We were not supposed to be in, in yeah. the golf course. But there was some really so big... So he shot at you? Oh, yeah. They're dogs too. God, because oh. he wanted yeah. the balls. He's claiming he's staking his claim. Well, it wasn't about the balls. It was about trespassing. But you're just you're getting balls. Yeah, but we hopped about a probably about a twelve foot fence. <laughs> you climb a twelve foot fence from Linda Vista Park. You were in the prison yard, right? And then you, no, and then you hop over, and there was these really big bushes that they were so tall you could almost walk under them like they're a canopy, so you could kind of hang out there, and then you. Walk down. So you camouflage. You oh, guys yeah. had a whole system going all the time. On. When I think about it, now that we're talking about so it, did always. You, did you come back and sell the balls to their customers? No. Oh, so you were Not really, you were clip. you were taken away from one course, yeah. bringing to another. You could. And a guy fired a weapon at him. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's what I said. Hop. I'm can- <laughs> He's better off with a pellet. Yeah. See, the rock yeah. salt stings a little bit, but it's yeah. just you have to be kind of close. You get a yeah. pellet, you could get hit from a few hundred yards, it's like a bee sting. <laughs> Yeah. Leave that ball alone, kid. Well, there were Dude, a lot I don't of... care how much you're worth. If people are shooting guns at you, man. You have to reevaluate your this life. Is a... <laughs> wow. There, hey, was... there was a brand new Titleist fan. You know, part yeah. of that, too, when you're, when you're Pro, a teenager. No, Pro-V, they were the you know, Pro-Trax. When, yeah, when you're an early teenager, early in your teen years, it's yeah. kind of like a, it's adventurous. It, sure it is. It's and challenge. so then challenge. stories would, ab- would abound, Challenge right? accepted. Johnny went over the fence. Yeah, he, he got it. He took one in the back. <laughs> Took one in the back with the salt gun, but he made it over, and the dog got to his heels. So you, you know, it was just you got battle scars. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's there was so there was funny. a lot of that, and that wasn't just us. I mean, myself, and my friends. See these holes in my yourself. members only jacket? I got those. For this. <laughs> Dude, got, my vans got ruined. got two dozen that day, though, man. When we were kids. The, the little off topic, we'd go to the Claremont uh, Jungles, which is near the Claremont Colleges down yeah. there. They call them the jungles. There's a bunch. We'd take wrist rockets and our little BB guns and pump guns, and we'd have, we'd have little wars against you. We'd wear goggles. We were smart enough to wear goggles. But we'd fight each other. We'd have two teams like paint paint pellets, but just before paint guns. Oh, nice. With, with marbles and wrist rockets. Ow. Oh, it hurt. We got so torn up. I was a sniper one day, and it was a b- big mistake because I couldn't get down the tree quick enough. <laughs> And the team emerged on me, man. Oh, Be- man. I had welts. That's the worst. That's like 10 or 12. But we have, we have a one pump rule and a pump gun. Well, you know it never went one pump. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah really. I you might have that rule. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, one more. A couple won't. of them broke skin. Yeah. <laughs> but it was, it was really stupid. But we, did, we did the same thing. <laughs> did, yeah, it was really dumb. Yeah, it'd be but. like, oh, one pump rule. And then you shoot and you realize <laughs> the BB's arcing so much that it's like you can't really hit anything because it's going so <laughs> slow. <laughs> like, oh, I'll just give it a couple more pumps. Yeah. Pump, yeah. Maybe, more maybe a couple yeah. more after that, too. Yeah. Yeah. But never be a sniper because they catch you up. That was, you never get, in you a tree. You get one shot off and then you get pelted. High points. <laughs> yeah, but it's not good. <laughs> plateaus, but never in a tree. See, we've done the same thing. Oh, yeah. But um, we used to <laughs> steal the with the got. We hired a scuba guy at our ponds in, at Egremont Country Club because we knew there's a lot of balls in the ponds yeah. and no one wanted to go in. It was just mucky and leeches and They're nasty. So this guy, we he came in. We thought he'd get us a few balls, man. We hired him for a day. Yeah, and he was out. He had his whole full garb on, right? We came down later. He had potato sacks, those big. Yes, and they were 
full. He yes. must, and, and, and this went on for days. He got Did he tens use a of thousands. vacuum or did he use his he, hands? He was using his hands and gloves and skin. Wow. It was attached to his side. But then he came back for like two straight days and like tens of thousands of balls. We had no idea there was that many balls down there because none of us were going in. Yeah. And it was so milky and, you know, full of ugh, moss. fertilizers. Just awful. So, but he was in pesticides. There. He was down in there. Oh. And he got half. We got half. That was the deal, and he had them refurbished and sold them to companies. And, and but we had we had full range balls and that's cell a balls. huge market. It was a huge amount of balls because it was never been done before yeah. for all those years. Wow. And then huge they, market. every two years they come back, <laughs> and it was crazy. We were just shocked. The pro and I were just shocked. It was just a pro. How many balls came out of that? Look, those three little ponds. Yeah, it was only like five feet deep too. It wasn't like he was down. Well, no, you, but no those, one, it was uh, those ponds. Snakes. You have that that sediment, yeah, yeah. organic matter, they all were. and that's, it all sinks. That's where they all were. He said, and it would come up, and you just you'd see these bubbles. And and imagine him down there, and he's stirring all that <laughs> crap up for hours. I know. That's why most of those he'd guys come out looking like a lot of the monster of the of the you know come out the, the swamp monster. Is he still alive? With, most of those, I don't know. Man. Most was, of those guys. He, he would that, go from pond to pond around the whole state. Yeah. This is in Massachusetts. Most of the guys that I knew that did that like had clumps of hair left. <laughs> They look like they've been a, exposed to radiation. We all did skip shots at him from up top. Did you? <laughs> yeah, but he was underwater. We said, let's see if, we, see if he'd find the moving ball. <laughs> little he little, come little up? punch five irons. <laughs> what if he comes well, up out of the water? We're helping him Boom. find. We, we wanted to add to the collection. I didn't know he was going to bring up 30,000 golf balls. Yeah, but it's just... <laughs> <laughs> It was not like we tried to hit him. You know what I mean? We didn't hit him. I know, but how do you do? Well, I guess you knew if, where his bubbles were. We saw the bubbles. Okay. And that's what you aimed for, so, right? Yeah. yeah. And we how good you, <laughs> you know, didn't hit him for lack of trying. Exactly. I mean, come on. Well, I wish so good we could aim three feet away. You know, we we're that good. Yeah. <laughs> that's a whole other hazardous part of the job that I never even hey, considered. Hey, he signed papers. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. He asked if we wanted help. He had another kit. No way, dude. Like, no thanks. Oh, my gosh. So, anyway. All right, so so we'll take our first break here, and uh, today's show is about balls. It's a lot about balls. There's a co-op about balls. There's dimples. There's refurbished. There's cleaning your balls, finding your balls. What makes balls different? If How many balls? Things? Do you like your balls? That's a good question. Sometimes. And are you willing to change your balls? That's a tough. If you're because you seem loyal to your balls, I'm very loyal to my balls. You are. And Mike, are you loyal to your balls? Because it used to be a company thing. Who sponsored us? That's what I played with. I right. I changed so like two, three years ago. I changed because of a sponsorship. Um, at first, and then I realized that it was a better choice for me. They actually performed yeah. better. I was more comfortable. But with according those kinds to Hop, and I think he's got a good point. What the heck's the difference? Just the just the stamped name. Yeah, there's a lot of differences. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. But. It's sort of a yeah. lot yeah. because there's been tests that there's very few yardages between a lot of balls. Some fly farther, roll less. Yes. Some fly less, roll more. So the overall distance is very similar. It's yeah. just what you're looking for. Are you looking for a flyer? Are you looking for a screamer? Yeah. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. Looking for a flyer, getting a screamer, maybe? <laughs> that happens all the time. <laughs> are you looking for one that spins? <laughs> looking for one that spins less? Are you looking for the optimal spin? So there are some differences there. But if machine yeah. hits them distance-wise, yeah. very, very little difference. Interesting. Yeah. Well, we'll be right back, guys. Total this is our difference. first break. Total uh, Golf Talk Radio with Mike Milley brought to you by TaylorMade Golf. Check out the latest M5, M6 lines at TaylorMadeGolf.com today. Stay with us. Okay, here's...